Kyle Ramos here with Strong Men, Good Men. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, so what do women want, right? So there's two things that women want on uh, the most rudimentary level you, you're talking about. They want the alpha seed, which is they want the good genetics to pass on. So they have strong children who are more likely to be the dominant male or, or woman with the best, with the best features, um, and attributes to be desired by the opposite sex. Sorry, I had a mind blank there. Uh, and then the other thing is beta needs or the provisioning aspect. They want <clears throat> a man that's gonna help them raise the children, who's going to provide for them. And in ancestral times, so it was really like hunting, a good hunter, right? That could provide uh, food for the family. Now, um, those things still stick, right? Because those are evolutionarily um, uh, baked in for hundreds of thousands of years, right? Through through our evolution of the species. So you can't just turn those around in, in a couple generations. Now, women don't necessarily want these simultaneously or at the same time. There's different stages of their life. When they're younger they're and they're more fertile, um, and it's their peak sexual reproduction years, which is in their mid twenties. Um, they want more of the alpha seed. They want to mate with and be with the man who's going to give them the best opportunity to have children with the best possible genes. Now, as they get older, a lot of times that will change what they, what they're looking for. And it changes in the aspect of once they have children, they start thinking, man, well, I need to make sure that I have a man around that can help me take care of the family and help take care of the kids, help m make sure we have food, a house, transportation, etc. Now, it's you have to be careful. Men have to be careful because this is subconscious. I'm not saying that women are these like, vindictive creatures trying to, you know, strap down every man possible but what they will do is they'll look for a guy who might not have all of the uh, alpha characteristics let's say for a guy who is less desirable to them sexually but will take care of their kids will help them take care of their kids will help them you know put the kids through college and make sure pay the mortgage etc so you have to be careful because you don't want to get trapped with a woman who doesn't really want to be with you, she's just settling for you so you can help her take care of the kids. Now, there's some things you can do to mitigate that, some you know, some red flags, watch out for, stuff like that. We'll, we'll go through those a little further uh, in a little further detail on, on other videos. I'm trying to keep these short so they're quick and easy to, to digest, right? Um, so you have to be careful with the difference between the alpha seed and the beta need. That's why you see younger women with older men who have money and they live a nice lifestyle. And then there's a little bit of truth behind the, oh, well, she's having sex with the pool boy, right? Because everybody knows that those women who were with Hugh Hefner uh, when he was in his 70s and 80s, we're not with him because they just had a strong desire to be with a wrinkly old man, right? They were taken care of financially. So they, that was the beta need part. Um, and so just be aware of the two things that women want and preferably they'd have them simultaneously, right? A nice alpha male with good genes that they can pass down to their children, as well as a man who can take care of them and the family and it's not just gonna run around on them because uh, one of the problems they have in ancestral times, and you can see this in the animal kingdom today, that the alpha male isn't as interested in helping to bear the children as the more beta men are because he has a lot of options and he doesn't really have to do, he doesn't really have to agree to provide that assistance to the woman or he didn't have to in the past to be able to get with a woman because they still wanted to sleep with him for his good genes. Uh, 
And so anyways, those are a couple things to look out for. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can go to strongmengoodmen.com and we have a community there you can join if you'd like. There's also one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions if you're having some problems relationship-wise or uh, professionally, what have you. And, uh, and you could also just ask a question. There's a little thing on the bottom of the page there. Anyways, that's strongmengoodmen.com and thank you for listening.